And there I go. I've got my digital portfolio ready to go. And so what I want to do is you'll notice there's something different here. On the blog style page, it says new post. So when you're making your blog post every day, you come and you click on blog and then you choose new post. We're not creating a new page. We're creating a new post and that's can be a little bit confusing and if you again if you get it wrong don't stress we can fix it we either copy and paste it into a new blog post or we move it or whatever we will make it work do not stress about it really okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click on new post and I want to name this uh, a very specific naming nomenclature I want to start it with zero one um, please do your single digits um, as two digits, so 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, like you do months for your birthday when you have to fill that out. I'm new colon, and I'm going to um, put the date, 2014, 0, 1, um, 20, 21, whatever the date is for day one. Um, and then if that's what I really need. I need to have the week number or the day, and then I need to have the date. And then after that, you can put whatever you want that you think is kind of helpful for you. So getting started, um, anything you want. So the next things that I'm going to put on my portfolio is I'm going to type notes, and I'm going to push enter a bunch of times, and then I'm going to type reflection, and I'm going to push enter a bunch of times. And the reason that I push enter is it just gives me a little bit of room to type. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight the word notes and then you'll notice up here is what we call a WYSIWYG toolbar which means what you see is what you get. So in that I could change the font style if I wanted to, I could change the font size, I can make it bold, italicized, underlined, and I can change the font color. So I noticed that you know I made it green. I'm going to then come down here to reflection. I'm going to highlight that. Um, again, I'm going to do something funky to it just so it sticks out. I'll make that one pink. Make that big. And I think I'll underline this one. So these are the things that, that we want to do is you want to leave some space for notes and then put the reflection at the bottom. And I would like you to please type your reflection directly on the blog post page and not include the reflection in your notes. Um, some students choose to use a Google Doc to take their notes on and on and then embed the notes into the digital portfolio notes section. This is a good idea, but I would like the reflection directly on the page, please. Okay, and the reason I want it to type directly on the page is because we really like to look at the reflections. Like, that's super important. And I want it to be easy to find. If you include it on uh, a Google document that you've embedded, sometimes I have to scroll to find it and I can't see it right away. Um, with 100 students, I really just need a little bit of help to, to get this done. So up here in the notes, what are the types of things that you would put in the notes? In there you would put, um, well, your notes. What did we do that day? Um, you would want evidence of participation. You know, class is three hours. There should be three hours worth of work. Um, you would want to have work samples. Anything we do needs to be embedded or screenshot and placed on the page. Evidence must be shown here. Screenshots. So a screenshot is you're able to take a picture of what you're doing. Screenshots, screenshots, screenshots. You definitely want to have pictures of not only what you're doing, but kind of like mini tutorials. 
If you click on a button, take a picture of the button because you're not going to remember later. We cover a lot of stuff in class. And so I want this to be useful that you're like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot how to do GarageBand. Well, how was it that we stuck that little loop sound in, you know, and, and to know that it's this little particular button that you click on, you should have a picture of the button and you should label your screenshots. The picture doesn't mean anything unless you explain it. Now, these are notes. So I do not expect complete sentences or for it to be perfect. You know, it can have some spelling errors and some, you know, grammar things. I mean, you're taking notes during class. It's challenging to make it um, a polished product. That's that's not really the point of that. But it should be coherent. It should be useful to somebody who's who was not in class so they can see what you did. All of your work samples, it should look like you were there for three hours. Um, if you use collaborative notes, which I love that, please. Get a group of people and you guys all type on the doc the same notes document together. You should have equal participation, participation in the notes and it should be reflected on the um, revision history. So you can't, don't be a slacker is basically what I'm saying there. Is if you're sharing notes with somebody else, don't let somebody else take all of the notes. Uh, push enter a whole bunch of times and everyone has their own section that they're taking notes on, um, but everyone's taking their, their own notes on the same document. And then you can just see if you miss something, someone else might have picked up on it and that would be really helpful, but it does have to have your participation on it. So the revision history is something actually I can look at and see who did you know what? Um, it'll actually highlight for me color code um, everyone's participation. So I should see your equal participation on the notes if you are sharing notes. Um, my tutorial. Anyway, the, it, it's notes. Um, it, that is what it is. I directions, different things like that. So the reflection is not a summary. I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, you should be planning for your future classroom. So you should be mentioning my students. Mention my students. And what they will be and what they will do. Uh, how are you going to use the methodology or technology that you're presented with that day? There's a lot of things we go over and we want you to sit down and spend some time to really dig deep and think specific lesson plan ideas and specific applications. How are you going to use it? Tell us about your feelings in terms of um, opinions. That's really opinions. And you are welcome to disagree uh, com, you know, and say whatever you want, but it should be personalized about you and your ideas and about teaching and how, how you're going to be a teacher and why you would or would not use something um, and specifically how you would use it or how you can see others using it. Um, it is a deep reflection so that everything we do that day is meaningful and that's really the most important piece for us. If your reflection is lacking, um, that's where we're going to ding you. So um, really pay a lot of attention to the reflection. So once you're done with that, go ahead and hit save. Now obviously at this point you would not have actually typed